This week at MK Sports Cars, we walk around an S2000 powered Indy RR we have for sale. We then visit the workshop and see the rapid progress of the K20 build and its awesome new detailed engine bay. There's an update on the Honda S2000 build and tune in to see if your chassis kit has made the production schedule. Don't go anywhere guys, you don't want to miss it. Well, we had the privilege of just unloading this out of the van, the MK Indy RR, round tube chassis, rose jointed, with, well, the famous S2000 engine in it. And the best bit about it is... It's only done 174 miles. It's 174 brand new. 174 miles. It's a brand new miles. car, ready to go. There is zero to do on this car, absolutely zero. It looks amazing. We've got the following. Should we start at the front? Start at the front. Carbon arches. Carbon arches. CXR wheels with Toyo R888 boots on them. Rose jointy wishbones. Fully adjustable. Quick rack, 2.4 quick rack on it. S2000 engine under the hood. Let's, Let's have do a it. look. Let's have a look. Ticking away that. Oh my, look at that. Is stunning. You could eat your dinner off of that. It is beautiful under there. The owner of the builder of this particular car has done an absolutely awesome job. Engine was a low mileage engine anyway in this. It's been gone through, as you can see, extremely detailed. It's running the oil cooler. It's running a big aluminium radiator in there. Well, it's got our four into two exhaust system on it, going to a really nice polished silencer. Decat pipe. Decat and catalytic converter pipe. It comes with both on this. It's got the lightweight race battery in it. Aluminium coolant tank. So you've got the aluminium header tank there as well. Um, it's got the bias adjustable pedal box in here, or the billet one, OBP one in there. Um, all inboard suspension as, as stock on this. We pop this back on. As you can hear, this engine's so quiet. That, that sounds like a sewing machine, I've it, got to be honest. It is, literally. Come on, cameraman. Come on, Anna, have a look at this. Have a look so, at this for a on treat. on the inside, we are running carbon dashboard, the analog M gauges, MK branded analog gauges. All branded, all the aluminium switches, single start. It's got the Audi TT centre bit actually. Low sided seats, so if you are a little bit more on there, we've had a bit of Christmas pud. We've got the low sided <laughs> seats in here as well, with a little bit of comfort pack. The TRS two inch harnesses, all over a nice, OMP, uh, OMP steering wheel, quick release. What size boss. is that? What size is that steering wheel? That's a 300. That's a 300 wheel. It's a 300 steering yeah. wheel. Carbon rear arches, more carbonara. Roll down to the CXRs, and on the back, we've got the stock Sierra brakes on here, but on the fronts, we've got the upgraded billet front uprights with the wheelwood calipers on there. All solid discs. This is perfect, this car, but in the boot under here, we would show you, but it's got Piece a solid de resistance. Cover. It's got, I think it was over two grand's worth of diff in this. It's got a 4-1 ratio alone. ATB in there as well. Super clean rear end, clear lens pack on the rear. This car is spot oh, on. It's, it's bang on. Absolutely I mean, it's a really nice. I'll tell you what on. I have noticed. It's got the um, handbrake warning light, the battery and the oil warning light. Oh, and the indicators in the, in the gauges well, there. We've put, we put them on. So you can see it. There Look you go. That. It all lights that up. That is in a there. nice touch. Oh, where's your main beam? Yeah, it's gonna have well, main we'll beam the, as well. We'll have side dip main. All on there as well. Oh, main beam on there. Main beam on there. All in all in your all branded 
black lens dial. It's got an immobiliser on this and the windscreen. Of course, you can convert this to an aero screen if you want to. Or if you wanted to put a roll cage on at a later date, all the bracketry, as you know, on these cars is in there. Already in there. Already in there. It is, I cannot stress how clean, but then you'd expect 174 miles. Sean brand himself new. Brand built new. this car. It's brand new. It is that clean. If you want to own this car and you want a stripe pack on it, we can put a stripe for you. You're not going to put one on there right now. We will put one on it of your colour of your choice. But it is for sale. It certainly is for sale. It's going to be up for sale. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on the website. What it a lovely tree. car. It what a terrific tree. looking build. Well, yeah. Look us up. You know, Facebook Messenger, phone call, email. I would say be super. You will not find another one like this unless it comes out of our factory. I think somebody, one of the best home built but cars yeah, I've seen in a very, definitely. very long time. Right, guys, we're here with the Indy RR Hayabusa with the FIA cage. It's all road joint and suspension car. You would have seen this car being built over the last few months. Well, what have we been doing? Well, fine tuning, testing. We've put about 70 odd miles on this car now um, because it's going to be heading out to Australia. So we'll be creating this up, well, containering it basically, over the next week um, to get this shipped out and over to him. We've got a couple of little details, looking great, loads of carbon, but now we do it. We've got a couple of little details we've got to go and we've got to put some seat padding in here, um, which is going to go on. And the final fits of these little uh, surrounds to go over where the gear lever is and the handbrake one we've got here one they've got to just fix those two bits in and the seat pads to go in as well and it's ready to send but yeah beautiful goes like sting it's got the flat shifter on it with a central gear lever so full throttle on the gas and punch through those gears going up this thing goes extremely well and the small little details that are on here obviously fia cage now we've done all the boot cover for it as well and it's got the rear diffuser all fitted so now it's clean detail final spanner check a um, few bits to do on those and it's going in the container right guys we've got a rather large crate here so as you know we can ship pretty much all over the world um, with crates and these kits this one's going to Norway so it's fully kitted up it's got actually a full donor car in here as well engine all the drivetrain everything else the chassis the wheels the tire it's got everything in this box. It's bigger than our normal one because it's got all of that in. Normally we're down at this height, um, unless it's got a full roll cage. But yes, this is being containerized and it should be shipping, I think, and well, any day now it's going out, I do believe. So that's looking fantastic. Just a packaging, a bit more padding to go in there, we'll shut the lid on it and send it to Norway. Right guys, chassis time again, another one landed. This is for Mr. NM, you know who your initials are, and he's having, the black, it's going to be an RR chassis, but he's also having an orange roll cage and ooh, somewhere in here, all these nice little orange front wishbones and everything as well. Um, this kit is going to be a factory built car, Honda S2000, our firm favourite. Um, can't wait really, I love like this one here. I love the Honda S2000, but this is going to be predominantly black and I think eventually the customer is going to be camo wrapping it. So I'd be really interested to see that once this project evolves and it gets into a camo wrap at the final stage. So again, if you're subscribing each week, then of course you'll see this build progress um, pretty much similar in the RR, but FIA cage in orange. Um, if you like that kind of colour scheme, I think you'll be interested to see it evolve. Right, on from one Honda S2000 onto another, which is Shows this build here, as you can see, we've been cracking away as always. You probably notice the exhaust system is no longer on it. Well, it's being black ceramic painted as well. So that'll go bolted back on um, over the next, well, probably 24 hours that'll be back and we'll sort that out um, just to tidy that up and clean up the theme. But mainly now we're on with wiring. So we've had the, the loom come in for the engine harness loom has come in. Um, that's gone on and all plugged in. Pretty simple affair. Coil over plugs, air and water temperatures, all in so that's pretty simple plug and play again with our stock loom we started on with a wiring so now we've chosen to spin on with that so did your dash all wired in hazards all wired in and all working etc now um, we've got things like you know all the side lights these are all operational now and all the little lovely light blue switches that light up and obviously all of them etc with your fogs etc i think even the horn works so uh, yeah pretty much Closing down on the wiring stages of buttoning up and then just waiting for the ECU car to arrive because we've had all the loom arrive. It's all plugged in. 
pretty much plug and play on the ECU side, which is what we love to do on that, super reliable. So yeah, it's going on nicely. Um, once the exhaust comes back, bolt that on. New seal protectors, as I said the other week, all gone on. Everything else has been walked up, wheels and tyres. So this will be hitting the ground in the next week, I want to fault. And uh, yeah, we can start doing some uh, preliminary start tests and etc. on it. Right, uh, another build, Simon's build here. K20, I know a lot of you have been very interested in this and how it's progressing. Well, we got on with a lot. It's changed a lot, actually, in the last week or so. Um, simple things. Nose cone. Bonnet. Obviously, this scoop, as we said, is designed for where the taller engines come into it. It's not too big, very slim line, very sleek looking, I think. Um, it's designed really for the S2000s, K20, or with the Mazdas when you're running the VVT system on a Mark 2.5s. It works perfectly well. Wheels and tyres have been thrown on. We've got Amphasite wheels, Toyo TR, man, they're called TR1s now, um, proxies on it. They're more of a, a road tyre. Um, perfect though, still can burn them up on a track day, not a problem. And evolve around the side. Obviously, we've done the exhaust system for the K20 here, four into one here, cat system was on, and obviously one of our carbon silencers, which looks, I mean, they're just awesome. Right, so from the exhaust, let's head back into the engine bay. Well, we pop the cover off. Into a bit more detail now. So obviously we've done the, uh, as always, Honda Red uh, rocker cover. Um, got the stock engine covers on here to show what it is. Um, the breather filters are in as well. Um, we started mocking up for the filters. Um, fuel pressure regulators in the breather system, the alternator bracket, as we said the other week, that's all in. So looking extremely smart. And everybody keeps saying about ground clearance, ground clearance, ground clearance. Well, there's loads. You're probably gonna have between 90 and 100 mil under the sump on this. There is so little protruding under the chassis rail, maybe an inch. We run about 120 to 140 mil ride height. It does depend on what the car and what we're using it for um, under the front chassis rails here. So you're gonna have, I don't know, at least 100 mil under the sump here, so plenty of ground clearance, which I know is a concern for many. Well, don't be concerned, it fits like a glove. So, what we'll do is we'll move around the rest of the car. Right, let's move into, from engine bay to interior. Well, a bit of a transformation. You saw the side seal protectors go in and the interior panels last week. Well, now we have the carbon dashboard in with, well, killer instruments, gotta say, MK branded, obviously the uh, obligatory 150 odd mile an hour speeder, being a bit ambitious, maybe, and a brick, but you know, it will do, and these cars, <laughs> well past 130. Got all the nice gauges in here, I absolutely love the layout. We've got a simple ignition switch in here as well, but I think the, the dash layout, nice, gonna be nice view through the steering wheel here. Quick release boss is the last thing we're gonna be welding on here. Right, now moving on to the rear of the vehicle. Um, obviously, subtle changes, right red, roll bar in here. This is our asymmetric cross roll bar. It's gonna have a nice little boot cover going on this, the carbon style one that we do. Rear arches have gone on, obviously our wheels and tires and boots. It's got all its four boots on now. They're in, rear arches in, P trim in. Got the all-in-one LED um, rear lights on those. Pretty much most people go for them now. Look really trick, super clean. Obviously reverse and fog light in. Number plate light, we mounted it here. We did have a discussion about this, guys, about where we wanted to do it, put it in the panel here or down in the bottom. Well, we decided now, I think, or standard, we're going to be fitting them down below here underneath um, and reflecting up onto the number plate, uh, uh, which will be f positioned here. Fuel filler cap is in, the black one, um, all anodized. It's looking great. And then when we move around to the other side, wheels and tyres again on and the carbon silencer, which is uh, stunning. You just want to... Stroke it. <laughs> she looks great. So looking really clean and tidy. I think the red, white and black theme is tying up superb. Hi guys, what an another amazing week here at MK Sports Cars. I don't know where they go. We're flying into November. Um, yeah, if you want to know about your build schedule, of course, it'll be up there. Same as this chassis that's rolled in through the door. We've got, obviously, next week, tune in, more S2000 stuff, more K20A stuff as well as that rolls through the, through the workshop there. Don't forget the cars for sale, the new one that's hit our doorstep, the S2000 Indy RR. Absolutely, I cannot stress how clean that car is. And of course, we've still got other cars for sale, the Striker with a supercharged Toyota in there. 
So the cars for sale page will be up there for you. Or you can hook us up on a phone call, email, or Facebook messages as always. So yeah, that's it guys. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you next week.